your Thursday afternoon here with us on Cabo Bayan LA. Of course, on Thursdays here on the show, we meet brand new Cabo Bayan performers. And we're going to do just that later on in the program. But for now, we're meeting two wonderful Cabo Bayans that are doing something for our needy Cabo Bayans back home. Anthony and Raymond, they're both DJs. First of all, you know, when you say DJ, ano bang ginagawa ng DJ? Uh, we're basically just playing the music for the people mm -hmm. and just making them dance and making them feel good when they're at the dance and just forget their troubles for a little while and just... Right. So basically good. it's work um, in, in a booth, DJ's booth for a radio station or uh, no. on the dance floor in the club. Right. Correct, Raymond? Or the dance floor in the club. Mm -hmm. So we entertain the people, mm -hmm. you know, make sure that they have a good time and... When you say you're a DJ, do you have to be uh, um, familiar with different genres of music, or is there what you call your specialty? Well, we have our specialties. Raymond and I are specialized in reggae music, but we uh, we play all different types of music. Well, I do in particular, but uh, Raymond is uh, more of a reggae DJ. Right. And you're not just a reg reggae DJ, you're also an owner of a record label, yes, correct? Yes, Tell yeah. us a little bit about the that. The label is called Manila Jeepney Records. It is, I believe, the only... Filipino owned reggae record label out there. It's run by my brother, me, Jason Yu, and Jun Lumakang, four Filipinos that are just doing great projects for, for the industry. So you're also looking for uh, performers, maybe songwriters that want to record yes, albums to collaborate yes, with you, we are. right? Yes, we are open to that. How is the market out there for Filipinos? Well, I would think that we would love reggae. Uh, Philippines is a tropical country. True. There's a lot of beaches. So true, reggae true. is really Good huge, question. right? Yeah. yeah. That, well, when, when I went to the Philippines in 2007, it was, it was quite a shock to see. There's a lot of red, gold, and green all over the place and Jamaican-style patties, and it was it was just... It was nice to see. You're just making me miss Barakai all the yeah. more. <laughs> and so this event that you're putting together on April 8th, yes, um, April 8th. is this going to be a reggae uh, concert or no, event? Well, there, it's going to be reggae, and there's, there'll be some hip-hop DJs, too. There's a, uh, a brethren we're working with. His name is DJ Cram, and um, he's from Long Beach, and he's going to he's gonna be spinning. And then we have another uh, DJ named DJ Thumbprint, mm -hmm. and we have some... Uh, uh, b-boy dancers are going to be there too and so so prepare be, to dance yeah prepare to time. sway yes, you know yeah. what i noticed about reggae is it's just one parang one beat lang siya or very similar beats nagkakaiba iba lang sa mga um, uh, uh, lyrics and what i like is the lyrics of reggae songs it's very social um there's a lot of social consciousness right. about yes, it uh, yes, Raymond, yes, yeah. what what is uh, the, what are the characteristics of a good reggae uh, song or you know well, like you said, you know, um, good social, you know, social, aspect, social yeah. aspect, good lyrics, mm -hmm. you know, and just having really the appreciation for the music. Right, right. Yeah. And when you speak of social aspect, what I like about the event is it's not just them getting together and performing for you guys it's also going to a cause and let me right. thank you for making Gawat Kalinga one of your beneficiaries guys if you go to this one love concert uh, whatever they raise a part of that will go to the rehabilitation efforts of Gawad Kalinga in Mindanao correct yeah, correct yes. yes so what do they need to do do they need to make donations is there a ticket are you selling tickets when uh, we're basically just want to encourage people to come to the to the venue which is Josephine's Bistro in uh, Cerritos and we're also we also have a, a, a painter our artist his name is Edelbert uh, Lainess he's gonna have his uh, paintings on display and some prints for sale too. Oh, I like that yeah Parang ano ba yan? Monet Bayan or Van Gogh? <laughs> <laughs> Raymond, um, yes, paano uh, na put together to event na to? Well, basically just me and him. I got invited. Um, Tony asked me to DJ for him at a New Year's event mm -hmm. last year. Oh, but hindi ako na invite dito sa event na to. Okay, uh, continue. <laughs> and then what happened was, I met the guy. First time I met him. Oh. We, I, I, the yeah, guy is we, great. Yeah. You know, he's yeah, a great we, guy. We, and we're kindred souls. We, we're, we're we, kindred love re souls. we love reggae. Mm -hmm. And um, we just linked. And we actually met, where was it, at Max's? At Max's yeah, in we Glendale. Were at, yeah, we were at Max's. Oh. And, and then we started talking. Uh, we, we started just brainstorming. Yeah. How could we reach out help. to the community yeah. and help? Oh, 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 oh. And, then, and then... And we've talked about...
about this before because just last Saturday, the Eye Care, Eye Share Consortium had an event in Carson also to help right. benefit GK efforts in Mindanao. Some people kasi are saying, nako, nag-donate na ako, nakatulong na ako, ganito, tapos na. But you know, guys, uh, I can't uh, overemphasize this. Uh, our work is still not done because right. what right. happened was right. relief. And in right. fact, even to this day, there are some kababayans there, they don't have clean underwear uh, on a daily basis. Right. They don't have water. Some of them still don't have homes built. And Gawad Kalinga is building homes. They got um, a pledge from, I think it's San Miguel Corporation. But the thing is, it's just shelter. Yes, ma'am. We, need, yeah. we need, need to rebuild their livelihood. They need to rebuild their community. Right. And then another thing is that with, uh, with one of our partners, Cram, DJ Cram, he's working with another another um, another charity group? yeah oh, another charity, group yeah okay. it's called uh, Jar Army Philippines and they're gonna they're concentrating on clothing for pe for the children so yes. yeah and I just want to say thank you to um, some other other people uh, uh, Rick Ray Rick and Ray management who's helping us promote and um, the host is uh, this guy this is our friend uh, exacto who's who's a Filipino and he has a band called the rhythm natives okay. in LA too so they're helping out a lot of a lot of artists a lot of Filipino artists in, in fact, LA. it sounds like a nice and wonderful event reggae concert shall we say reggae and R&B and hip-hop and hip-hop yeah. I right. really really want to go and I hope to see you all there if I do get to go That's, oh, please. I'm flying back from Korea on that day but so uh, that's the event information on the screen. That's the website as well if you want more information. And um, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Much. Have a bye performer. When we return on the show, don't go away. Ang kababayan LA, ahatid sa inyo ng McDonald's. Anong mga bagong mag-cafe is